that there is a yellow house. Yellow. Your hands might attach. Nothing's right with every song. Nothing is wrong with every fiber counterfactual delight you love. Come a little bit closer now. Escape with me as I relate somehow. Thick as the thieves who can't take summer's bed and winters that would go. Here I am in front of the historic Chalfont Hotel in Cape May, New Jersey for the 11th annual Cape May Film Festival. My film Silk City is screening here today and I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, it was only a two hour drive, not three hours like I thought it was going to be. But uh, this is a gorgeous town. I've been walking through it. I got here and walked around for a while, went on the beach, uh, hung out there. It's beautiful. I went into town and just walked around there and hung out. Yeah, I know how you feel, pal. I was a horse and buggy and uh, I did what I always like to do when I get to the beach. I went for a nice breakfast. Thank you. And uh, had a good time and uh, so now here I am back at the hotel and looking forward to it. I'm glad I came here today. I wasn't going to but I'm glad I did. And I left it at that, and uh, 
as I went back, I just thought, no, nah, you know what? I, there's too much negativity out there. I gotta have, I gotta have this guy um, have some kind of, some kind of hope at the end. He's gotta have something. I, I, I personally felt that if it was negative for him at the end, I, I my opinion was that the audience probably would have felt ripped off. Um, that's that was my opinion. That's what I went with, and uh, I think the positive ending. Uh, well, it worked. I, you know, I, I didn't want to go over the top with it, but it had to, it, he had to have some kind of, you know, some kind of thing at the end to say, okay, you know, it's it's going to be okay because uh, um, I've been at uh, film festivals you know, with this film as well, and, and you know, a lot of the films that play preceding it are very negative. I, last week, uh, Silk City played, and right before that, one film was this gory horror film with blood and guts. Uh, and the other one was just some real dark, depressing movie. And I thought, well, I think maybe Silk City might be like an aspirin for a headache or something. And, uh, and it kind of worked, but I thought it was an odd place to put it. I, I'll go with the, uh, with the upbeat ending, and uh, it, was a, it was a great experience. Uh, uh, I want to thank uh, you know, Kate Bay Festival for having us. Uh, this was great. Uh, I've never been down here, and I wasn't even going to come because it's like you know a three-hour ride, which I got here in two hours and fifteen minutes, and I drive like a you know old guy anyway. And uh, I got down here, and I you know I got here early, and I walked through the town, and you know had breakfast and all that stuff, and what a gorgeous town! And uh, in this festival, everyone make me you know feel welcome and all that. Uh, this is definitely one of the best, one of the best ones, and I uh, thank you for having me. This is just great. I'm glad you all liked the film. Yeah. I hope yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. I walked on the beach for a while and I went and got myself a nice breakfast, which is the first thing you always do when you're at the shore. You go for a nice breakfast. And um, 